Hey guys, it's your fave Black Ethod here. Today we are going to be doing some anime inspired outfits for the fall time, or as I like to call it, closet cosplay because it's a casual cosplay all from items inside your own closet. These are all inspired by some of my favorite characters and animes. Uh, so yeah, let's to start off, we're going to be going with one of my favorite animes, which is Princess Jellyfish. Now this anime follows an otaku who's obsessed with jellyfish and one day she meets a very fashionable lady who later she finds out is actually a man in drag. Now I really love this anime and I feel like it's definitely left out of the conversation when talking about very fashionable anime characters. With that being said, I took inspiration from him today to create this look out of my closet. He is often seen with lots of pink, lots of different prints on him, as well as lots of layering and his iconic big princess hair. So I pulled out this zebra print skirt from my closet as well as this giraffe black and white trench. I paired it with a pink turtleneck and some fuchsia boots and a cute little pink bob that I wore for my birthday. I think this outfit is so cute, it gives me so much confidence and I definitely feel like the main character in my own story. I'm sure by just that little snippet of the intro song that a good amount of you guys know this anime and I'm not gonna play the rest even though it is a banger because I don't want to get copyrighted. Anywho, um, this is Tokyo Ghoul if you're not familiar with this. It has a huge cult following, extremely popular and for a very good reason. It's like really really good. Um, it is a more gory horror kind of anime, lots of blood. Honestly, I cried. <laughs> Because this is such a popular anime, I'm not going to give a summary on it. Um, but let's just get right into the fashion. So a lot of the ghouls do wear all black, accompanied with face masks to cover their identity. Um, so I kind of took inspiration from that, decided to go with the all black fit and a face mask. Basically, that's just the base of most of their outfits. Um, so with that being said, I decided to do an androgynous look just because that why not? Um, I took these black kind of oversized slacks paired with a black turtleneck and a oversized blazer on top. I paired two belts as well as a chain just to give it a little bit more of a edgy alternative black vibe. Obviously, you need your face mask. So I put one on. Um, mine would preferably be black, but I couldn't find mine. I also paired it with a black wig just to keep it consistent and I feel like a boss ass bitch in this one. Like who do I gotta fight? Next we have the infamous iconic number one magical girl series that literally changed the genre itself. Sailor Moon. I love Sailor Moon. Everything about her like she's probably the most powerful anime character y'all could debate me on that um so yeah i am not having a summary on this because she is literally a household name so let's just talk about fits and outfits now there are so many iconic sailor moon outfits from all the cast members mars venus you you name it um but i decided to go with something that they usually wear that they're seen more frequently in which is their school girl school uniform um, that is basically a midi length pleated skirt paired with a sailor kind of style top. Um, I decided to recreate this with a few items that I had in my own closet, which is just this red midi length pleated skirt, as well as this white button up that I decided to crop to kind of, I don't know, kind of play with the, play with it a little bit. Um, I paired it with these Mary Jane like shoes and frilly socks, but I can only find one sock Loki um, So that's why you're only seeing one foot um, As well as a cute little mini bag that matches the Mary Janes um, And I decided to accessorize with a little scarf that can be worn as a little babushka Or just stay on your purse as a little accessory and a pop of color paired with my Barbie looking ass strawberry blonde hair. I think I look super cute and very feminine and ready to To go to college, but not really because you know 
miss big bitch covid but yeah anyways i just feel cute in this outfit and this is actually perfect for fall paired with a little trench so next anime is devilman crybaby now this anime is about akira and his bestie ryo who is informed that demons are trying to take back the world from humans and forces Akira to become a demon himself. Thus, the creation of a devil man who's a crybaby comes to fruition. Now, Netflix did something right with this one. It's, uh, it's just really good. The animation style itself is just, it makes it a joy to watch. There's a lot of gore, a lot of interesting scenes, as I would call it. Um, but it is a really good anime and I definitely suggest that you watch it. It's only like 10 episodes and you can find it on Netflix so it's super accessible. Now for the outfits I decided to recreate Rio's fit. He is always wearing all white and a long duster like he really got that drip. So I took this all white duster from my closet which is just thick enough for fall as well as a chunky cable knit sweater. I added a dress underneath to add a little bit of length and a calf length a calf length is that how you say it yeah i guess calf length brown boots that have a cool little print on it that are square toe as well as a white little vintage guest bag to spice it up a little bit i added my blue wig because i'm obsessed with color and i need it in my life like almost 24 7. uh but if you don't want to do that that's totally fine too you could just wear your regular hair I don't know, all white outfits just are classic. They have a crispness to it and I really feel like a boss ass bitch in this as well. So that is it for this video. Comment down below your favorite outfit if you do have one and definitely break through your own closet and try to imitate some of your favorite characters cause you might just come out with a really great fit. Subscribe if you like this type of content. All my socials are also linked down below if you're wondering and yeah, if you made it this far in the video, thank you. Like the video if you liked it, dislike the video if you disliked it. It's all feedback. I'll see you guys next time and bye.